Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're going to be having a look at automated inventory management using sorters. We're going to look at the whitelist, the blacklist and the drain all function. I've got three demonstrations for you of using sorters and the different settings. So this first one has a cargo container, a sorter, a conveyor pipe going to a connector. In the cargo container, we have a couple of different ingots, a couple of different components and a tool. Currently, the sorter is switched on, but there are no settings made. It's basically just installed. So if I go to this connector and access it, there's nothing inside of the connector, but through this connector, I can get to the small cargo container and from there, I can just grab whatever I want from that small cargo container without any problems. However, I can't put them back. The sorter acts as a sort of non-return valve. The arrow is indicating that flow can only go in the direction of the arrow. So that in itself might be useful in some cases. But let's see what else it can do. In the sorter, we've got two options of a filter. We have the blacklist and whitelist. Now simply put, the whitelist will allow things you list. The blacklist will block things that you list. So let's say, for example, I only want to allow hand tools to pass through the sorter to the connector. If I change my filter mode to whitelist and select hand tools, then say add. Now the sorter will only allow hand tools to pass through. Let's test it out. In the connector, we'll go to our cargo container. We're going to try and take the ingot and no. So let's try the hand tool. Yeah, no problem. We can add as many things to the whitelist as we like. Let's say we also now want to allow components. Click components and say add cargo container there's the hand tools nope can't get the ingots components yes so a good time to use the blacklist is when you want to allow everything through except for one thing or perhaps even two things so let's try that out now i'm going to remove the whitelist components we'll change to a blacklist so at the minute everything will still pass through but if i add something to the blacklist for example, the hand tools. Now you'll see that we can access the ingots, the components, but not the hand tools. And now let's have a look at the drain all function. If we turn on drain all, now what's going to happen is the sorter is going to act like a hand pulling everything from this side through the arrow and push it out the other side. So anything in this container will be pulled out and pushed into the next thing in the chain. So in this case, it's the connector. So I've said drain all, I haven't got any filters set. Let's have a look in our connector. And in the connector, there you can see there are the five things that we had in the container. And if we check the container, you can see it's empty. So I've turned off drain all and I've put all of the components back into the cargo container. This time, I'm going to say to blacklist the ingots. Now I'm going to turn on drain all and let's see inside of the connector what we have. Take a second, here they come. There we are. So we have the grinder and the components, but we should see in here we still have the ingots. So hopefully from that, you'll be able to see the purpose of the drain all and also the black and white list. But what I want to do now is have a look at some examples of using each of those things. You can see across the bottom, we've got four cargo containers, the tools, ores, ingots, and components. Above those, you can see there are four sorters. Now they're the same as the other sorter, but they're in red because I've got them switched off. Then above that, you can see that they're all connected with conveyor tubes and conveyor junctions. On the very top left, we've got a cargo container, which I'm going to use as our mixed container. And we're going to want to sort that mixed container into the correct containers underneath. So in this system, I'm only going to use the whitelist to get everything from the mixed container into the correct container at the bottom. 
Here we can see our two ingots, our hand tool, a couple of components, and I've added an ore there as well. Let's have a look at the settings for the sorters. You can see I have drain all switched on, and I have a whitelist where I've said that I only want hand tools to go through. In the ores, it's the same thing. Drain all is switched on, whitelisting, only ores, etc., etc. Ingots, whitelisting, ingots. Each of them has drain all switched on. So what that means is that these sorters will be trying to pull from this side whatever is in the whitelist and send it to the other side. So let's test it out. Turn on the sorters, give them a moment to work, and then hopefully we should see that our mixed container is empty. It is. And then now let's have a look in our tools container. There you can see hand tools. And in the ores, there's our ore and so on. Now I can add a refinery to the end of the system and it will pull through, because these containers are connected, it will pull through the ores automatically and process them into ingots. So now I've connected the refinery back up to this system so that we can send the ingots down to the ingot container. The problem with this now is that the ingot sorter is looking for ingots on that side of the network and it will find them because it will go down through the refinery, through these containers and back to the ingot container. It'll pull those ingots out, take them round the system into the sorter and then the sorter will push them back into the ingot container, creating a continuous loop. But the problem with that is that it makes space engineers do a lot of maths and it also means that our ingot container is constantly being emptied and filled with those same ingots. Now because this network is connected our tools now also are being pulled out by this sorter and pushed back into that container and they're going around in an infinite loop. So it's a fairly clear and easy to understand system however it just doesn't really work what we need to do is we need to use blacklists now i'm not professing that this is the ultimate setup and the most efficient setup of the system i just wanted to show you how these things work and give you a couple of examples and also to let you see where problems might arise so in this system i'm going to use blacklists and let's look at the path of an ore to a finished product. We have a connection port here that our miner might land on full of different ores. This sorter is set to pull everything from that miner and push it into the next box. Let's have a look at those settings. So the settings are simply to drain all and there is no blacklist or whitelist set. So anything that goes in there will be pushed into the next container. Now I've labeled that as ores because we're going to end up eventually with only ores in this container. Everything from the miner is now sitting in the ores container. The refinery will pull out as many ores as it can take, leaving behind any that don't fit into the storage space in the refinery. So therefore, spare ore will be left in the ores container. And as the refinery works its way through, they will be pulled and processed. This next sorter is set to pull everything apart from ores. Let's have a look at those settings. So we say drain all, and we have a blacklist of ore. Ores will remain on this side. So that means that this container will now have ingots and anything else that was pulled from the ship. Next in line, we have an assembler. Now the assembler will automatically pull the ingots when it needs them. So any excess ingots will stay in the ingots container. So this next sorter needs to be set to pull everything except for ores and ingots. So let's do that. It's going to drain all, but we're going to blacklist ores and ingots. There's a small piece of iron ore. We'll test the system out. If I pick that up, 
I'm going to place it into the connector. So now that piece of ore has been pulled through because of this sorter into the ore container. The refinery has pulled it from the ore container and processed it into ingots. This sorter has pulled everything from that side apart from ores into this container. So now the iron ingot should be just in here and there it is. Okay, let's get our assembler to make some plates. I'm just going to access it through this terminal here. Go to production. And I'll say I want 10 steel plates. Let's just check our ingot container. There we go. It's used a small amount of the ingots, but the remaining ingots are still there. The assembler should be empty if we have a look. Yep, we can see the assembler is empty. There's no ingots remaining. And there are no components but if we have a look in this components container there we can see the 10 plates that we ordered now at the moment from this components container we can only access what's in the components container we can't pull any ingots through because they are blocked here and we can't pull any ores through if you wanted to do that we would need to just add some sorters to the other sides of these containers with no white or blacklist or drain all set just simply the sorters so they act as a non-return valve let me show you so that's our ores container a sorter on the back will allow me to pull things out when i ask for them but it won't pull anything automatically the same thing with the ingots container things can be pulled out on request to this end container. Let's test that out. I'll go into the components container and we can see there's the components there. If I scroll through the list of the other containers, we should see there's the ingots container and the ingots are there. I can simply pull those over if needs be. It's quite a complicated thing, but it can be very useful in a big base if you've got a lot of materials and you want to keep a tidy ship. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Please give me a thumbs up if you have to let me know and I'll keep doing more. If you want to see other videos, just have a look at my channel. There's plenty there. Hopefully there's something else that you might find useful. All right, I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.